Hey there, Adam Thomas here, Sugar Shack Nation. Here it is, February 2021, getting ready for our uh, maple season. Uh, hopefully only a couple weeks away, or maybe a week, maybe two weeks. Um, but we, you know, our previous videos, we showed you uh, our brand new 2x3XL Mason uh, vap uh, evaporator new arch in there. Um, now we've got a brand new 275 gallon tank. I've built a, a nice hemlock frame to, to support that to get all our sap into the sugar house and what we're going to do a little bit later on is we're going to connect that valve down through here we're going to enter the sugar shack and that's going to go directly into our pan into our preheater uh, that'll be a little bit later on uh, next week we might do a video on that and how we get that connected but uh, for right now uh, we we're going to have about 90 buckets this year so getting all that sap to our tank has been a little complicated so what we're going to plan on doing is we're going to run a, a main line from the road and then we're going to bring it through the trees and it's going to dump right into the top of our tank there so to, i did a little bit of homework last night i brought out a, a five point laser the laser gives me uh, a dot and when it's nighttime it shows up really bright so i just arbitrarily went up into the yard and set it up it was able to pick the trees that I know I'm going to connect this main line wire to. Um, and I was able to just give myself a level line to work from um, for today. So then today I came out and used a 100 foot tape. Just tacked a little nail in. So when I did that laser, I tacked, in, tacked a little nail in. So I know right on each tree that I'm working on, I've got a level line to work with. So then I went around and just measured tree to tree with that 100 foot tape. And I know from my end point tree here to my end point tree up there, I've got two anchor points that I'm going to connect this wire line to that's going to hold our three quarter inch main line uh, to travel all the way down. So you want a nice pitch and a nice grade to that. Um, so I did that and I know I have 128 feet tree to tree that I need to work with. And in, in that distance, I'm going to pick up the front edge five feet. So doing my calculations of that, that gives me basically each foot is going to drop a half inch. So with that said, I already did a little bit of the work. I got an anchor point here because I know by using that level line in that measurement, I know that from that tree is my last anchor point to the top of my tank. I'm 17 inches below right there, which is actually kind of perfect because I've got about a 20 foot span right here. So what we're going to do is basically go up to the other tree in the beginning, our first anchor point, which we're going to have our truck up there. And then that's where our tanks we're going to collect, drop our tanks in, and then connect to this main line and have it gravity fed all the way down and dump right into our tank. So... I already went ahead and went tree to tree and measured my distance of what I have and made my anchor points of which on the trees that I'm going to run this wire from. We're using a 12 gauge wire and I have two spools of 100 feet. I didn't want to buy a 500 foot roll just for what I need to do. So we're going to splice them in the middle. And what we're going to use is this called like a, a gripple. And this little guy is just going to be able to, you're going to be able to splice two pieces of wire together. Insert one end and we insert the other. We're also going to use a little connector here just for a safety backup. If this happens to fail, then these guys will help keep that tension. So uh, let's go on up here to the middle and we'll put this, uh, splice this wire together. So kind of before I've already spooled out our wire. I kind of have it kind of going through a couple of points. You can see one's going up through. I put an eye hook up here in this tree. So my two ends that I need to splice together are right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this grip on. Before I put the grip on, I'm going to put one of these guys on first because he's going to be our backup just in case the grip will fails. Slide this gripple on and through. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put this guy on first. And then send this guy. You're going to want probably a good footer past it. And this guy goes in this way.
pull it past a little bit like that. It's nice. So then we're going to take our back up, put it, bring it down four inches or so, and we're going to just tighten that up with a little wrench here. And this will just give us a little extra protection. Now you should be able to just go up there. This should hold it, and we're going to ratchet it up there at the front, and that's what's going to make this this line really tight and hang off these trees for the main line to hang off of. So again, these are just backups. So now we gotta have this part done. And I already have this wire strung up all the way to our front and it's, it's sitting on a ratchet. And we're gonna go check out that ratchet up here in a little bit, but we're gonna to have to make this end connection first. Because once we start ratcheting it, it's gonna tension this thing really tight. So that's basically our splice that we're gonna do. So let's go on back here to the our end point, our end tree. We're gonna make, make grab a couple of other connecting pieces here. I'm gonna grab another gripple. this so I have an open eye hook up there now a lot of people use eye hooks if you're hanging a lot of weight on them um, this is an eye hook I've, I've used one up this on the front a lot of people are using on eye hooks I'm not carrying a constant load of sap so my saps not gonna be sitting in here carrying it to a collection point it's really just passing through it so the weight on mine of this line is really I'm calling it not really a main line as much as it's a transfer line we're basically this is going to transfer our sap that we collect with buckets around the neighborhood and up the road from our bucket in our truck down to our holding tank back here so it's just passing through it to get it back here because we can't drive down here and I don't want to do it just by buckets in hand but if you have a lot of weight and you're hanging your main lines for sap season a lot of people weld these two together for that weight it doesn't open these up so something to think about I'm not worried about that with the weight that we have here but I still just want it to be held up there so I'm gonna get up on my ladder I'm gonna wrap my wire around this guy put it through put this guy on to lock it for a backup then put the gripple through it so I'm gonna pull it and then it's gonna hook on this hook I'm gonna get it somewhat as tight as I can, just by, by, by hand, and then we're gonna walk on up there and um, ratchet it down. So let me get up here and do this part first. So I'm gonna just pull on this as hard as I can by looking where it's going. Give myself a bend. I'm gonna take off some I'm going to probably leave two to three feet. Okay. So now that I kind of have this bend of where I had that, I'm going to start putting this together. I'm going to first put on a backup lock piece. Okay, then I'm going to put on the gripple. That really just, that, this really is the one that locks it together. Okay, I'm going to get that past that point, that bend. Okay, so now I know where my bend is. I'm gonna put this like this. All this piece is is reinforces, kind of like that. Gives it a nice reinforced look. Like that. And this is gonna send. Then we're gonna send this back through the gripple again. Again, again. I left plenty of extra. So 
So, uh, what I just learned is that when you're working with gripples, if you want to release them, have yourself a paper hip uh, paper clip on hand, and there's a little slot in it. You can release it and release the tension and work it back where you need. So definitely have that in your pocket. We do a little break and go find one. So now we're back. We're back. We're ready. I'm gonna put this guy here. Pull this as tight as I can. Around that. You get it? And send this other side through the gripple. like that. And now, get back up here on my connection. Pull. Twist that around. Like that. Alright. That should work. And then I'm going to take this is my little reinforcement stop just in case that gripple lets loose. I'm going to put this on the end. We're only using one. If you don't have gripples, you can use probably two or three of these connections and it'll work just as well. So leaving about four or five inches past tighten this up nice and tight be good to go there now while we're here this is only our last anchor point before we go to the top of the tank and I'm going to run a separate wire from the, this point to the top of the tank. And it's not going to be nearly as tight or, or have that much tension on it. It's really just to keep it nice and taut to just have not, not that much of a flex for the main line going down to the tank. I don't want the, them connected. I won't be able to pull as hard on the tank. So that one's just going to be a little, that'll be a separate little line. So... What we're going to do is we're going to walk up to our first tree. We're going to show you our connection up there. And uh, we're going to ratchet this down. So we'll meet you up there, okay?